On Sri Lanka, this, the meeting that was held yesterday with the Secretary General and his team and the Minister of Youth and Skills Development, two questions. One, the Sri Lankan, or pro, uh, Sri Lankan press has, has, in reporting on it, has gone back to something that Fairhan <coughs> answered earlier in this month, where he said that, that, that there needs to be a study whether there's been any wrongdoing that's occurred in the course of the final stages of the Sri Lankan conflict. And they, they glean from that that the Secretary General does, is unsure if there was wrong, wrongdoing, not just who did it, but that there was wrongdoing. So I wanted to just ask you, is, is, this, is, are, is this a mischaracterization of what was said or based on the various reports that the, the Secretary General has received, uh, is he clear that some wrongdoing took place and it's just a matter of who did it and who should be held accountable? I think we've uh, said all along that uh, the wrongdoing took place and uh, that people should be held accountable. But uh, the, the key point here is that uh, uh, we don't typically characterize um, the comments made by interlocutors in bilateral meetings of that kind and, and, and uh, typically we don't expect uh, the other side to do so as well. You will have seen the readout that we provided. That's the one thing I wanted to ask you about, and thanks a lot. I, I, I did see it, and I, did, I noticed the word reconciliation in it. I didn't see the word accountability. But what I wanted to ask is whether did the minister invite the Secretary General to Colombo in May for this uh, World Conference on Youth, and how would this invitation and possibly attending uh, relate to these issues, this call for accountability, things that may take place in March at the Human Rights Council? Is there well, any what again, you say about that? Again, um, I'm not, not going to characterize what was said by the interlocutor. What I can tell you is that uh, we have uh, a youth envoy, the Secretary General's uh, envoy, um, Ahmed Alendawi, and uh, th 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 he is an appropriate person uh, uh, to uh, attend such a meeting should a decision be taken in, in that direction. I wanted to know if the Secretary has seen this report out of a human rights group in Australia, essentially saying that during the the Sri Lankan events in the final stages of the conflict, that there was a destru destruction and concealment of mass graves, and also that it's been listed by the sent uh, uh, on a list of, of um, countries in which mass atrocities are still quite possible. I wanted to know, given the Secretariat's uh, interest in 2009 and this uh, Rights Up Front project, what, what's the response to this new study? Well, uh, we've, we've made it clear that there needs to be more done to, to get at uh, the heart of what happened in Sri Lanka. You, you've seen mm -hmm. what the Secretary General's reports on the situation have said, and uh, it, it's clear that there continues to be a need for all the facts to be learned and, and for there to be a, a, a study of whether any uh, of whether there's uh, any wrongdoing that's, uh, that's occurred on, in the course of the final phases of the Sri Lankan conflict. The Secretary General has said that repeatedly, and we continue to hold by that. An international process? Just one follow-up. Because it's been a number of years now. So should, is a national process still well, credible, or should it be done in Geneva? Ultimately, it's up to different member states to determine whether there will be an international process. We, we have presented the information to them, and we've made clear what we believe is, is the need for accountability. And uh, we rely on, on the member state's judgment to, to follow through. Uh